Quite often, some of our queries would involve multiple tables, but the result would come from only one of the tables. A particular example is the following, right? Suppose we've got flights, which is the table that contains information about all the flights that, that were made in the year 2013 from one of the New York airports. And then we've got another table called planes. Okay. Now suppose we want to find out, are there any planes in the planes table which have not been used for any of the flights in the flights table? Okay. So here the result is going to come only from the planes table. But in order to compute the result, we have to go and see what are the matches or mismatches in the other table. Okay, so let's take a concrete example. Suppose we want to find out what are the planes in the planes table that were actually used for any flights. That is, show me all the rows in the planes table that have a match in the flights table. That's it. We are not interested to get any information from the flights table, but we just want to see what are the rows here that have a match there or rows that don't have a match. So that is where we've got semi and anti joints. Okay, so semi join is sometimes called as a filtering join. Let's take a look at this. So we take flights, semi join, top destinations. Okay, which is continuing from our previous example. Top dest was basically a list of the top 10 destinations in terms of number of flights. Right, so we want to take a list of the flights which whose destinations were in top dest. Okay. Now remember, top dest had uh, you know the d destination code and just the number of flights. That's all top dest had. So the only common column between flights and top dest is basically the destination code. So it's going to join only by destination code. Okay, and it's going to retain only those rows in which the dest of flights matches the dest of top dest. Okay. So it retains only those rows in X that have a match in Y. Okay, that's why it's called as a filtering join. Okay, notice that no information from top desk is actually going to be reported. All the information that is reported is going to come only from flights, but the rows which are reported will be determined by only those rows that have a match in the other table. Okay, so that's what this is. So no information from the Y table is being reported but it is only looking for matches and retaining only those rows that have a match. Okay, so in this particular example, only the first two rows will be returned because the third row doesn't have a match. Okay, so only the existence or non-existence of a match matters. Nothing from Y actually shows up in the result. Okay, so let's go back to our supplier parts projects example and list the details of suppliers who have made at least one shipment. Okay, that means all we want is to look at the suppliers table and retain only those rows for which the supplier number is there in the shipments table. That's it. Okay, so it's easily done by doing a suppliers semi join shipments. In other words, only retain those suppliers who have a matching supplier number in the shipment table. Okay, no information from the shipment table will be in the report. The only report will be data about suppliers, right? So you're only seeing supplier number, supplier name, status, city, but only those suppliers who occur in the shipments table are retained, okay? S3 and S5 have not made any shipments, so they got filtered out, okay? So that is what a semi-join is. It's very useful. Anti-join is sort of performing the same function, but it does the opposite, right? So semi-join retains the matching rows, Anti-join simply drops the matching rows. Okay, so that's all it does. So in anti-join, this row has a match, this row has a match, so they are both dropped. So only the row that does not have a match is retained. Okay, so for example, suppose we want to ask a question, in the planes table, are there any planes that have not made any flights? Okay, or alternately we can ask, in the flights table, are there any planes which are not even listed in the planes table? Okay, so flights of planes which are not in the planes table. So flights, anti-join planes by equals tail num. 
and then we do the count of tail now right so basically what we are trying to say is are there any planes that have made at least one flight but those planes are not in the plane stable at all okay it turns out if you do this you will actually find that there are planes which were used in flights but which are not listed in the plane stable i don't know why that has happened but that is actually the case list the names of suppliers who have not made even one shipment this time we are going to do an anti join of suppliers and shipments okay so because anti join only retains non matching rows right so if a supplier has not made a shipment then uh, you know th that supplier is not going to be there in shipments and therefore anti join will keep only those suppliers who have not made any shipments and therefore s3 and s5 show up here now if you ran our one of our previous queries namely this one flights anti join planes by equal tail num count tail num sort equals true that is we are looking at flights and keeping only those flights in which the planes the 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 aircraft that were used are not in the plane stable okay that means the plane stable actually doesn't contain information about all the planes that were used in 2013 okay and we are counting it right so in fact if you run this you will find that there are actually planes which were not uh, there are actually flights done by planes which are not in the plane stable and you'll also find that for several flights the tail num is actually missing right so you've got a flight it's got an arrival uh, time departure time everything is there but the tail num is na that's what you'll see if you ran the previous query okay so now we ask the question what do the tail numbers that don't uh, you know that don't have a matching record in planes have in common okay so we are saying one variable explains 90% of the problem so we can say x is flights anti join planes by equals tail num okay and if you do this you will find that the carrier is mq or envoy air for all of those flights okay so if you do this flights anti join planes by equals tail num group by carrier count okay so you will find that uh, there are in fact several nas there as well okay so a and mq account for most of these things most of these missing things and if you do a question mark planes you will see that it actually explicitly gives us information that this is indeed the case that many of the uh, planes of these two airlines are not listed okay so you can do things like these with anti joins and semi joins very easily okay so filter the flights to only show the flights with planes that have flown at least 100 flights okay that means if a plane in a in the flight table has not made if a flight is made by a plane that has not made at least 100 flights then filter it out okay so we are saying planes 100 or more is flights group by tail num count and then filter n greater than 100 okay so that is uh, the result of this operation that is only those flights that is we are now going to do uh, a join of flights and planes 100 dash more semi join planes 100 or more right because we are saying retain those flights if the uh, the flight the, if the plane used is in planes 100 or more okay because we group by tail num so this result will have only tail num and n and therefore you can just directly join it without mentioning any of the joint columns okay so again we can plot only the destination airports we revisit this we are doing a better solution right remember earlier we had done this with uh, uh, you know when we said that we we want to remove all the airports for which there has been no flight that has flown to them which is that is the airports that don't appear in the destinations and we wrote this code right we said filter fa in unique flight stall or destination etc and we got this result but now we can write it more elegantly by doing this airports semi join flights by equals cfa equals dest 
that is retain only those airports for which the FAA code occurs in the destination okay and then we can go ahead and plot it okay so that's a very much more elegant solution than this this is so hard to read but here because we have semi join we can do this much more easily okay you might expect that there is an implicit relationship between plane and airline right because we may think that each plane is flown by a single airline so for example the tail num right so we may say that we may think that uh, every tail num must be associated with only one aircraft because after all the aircraft uh, is owned by a particular airline right but so the question we are asking is is it the case that there are some tail nums for which uh, which were been used by more than one airline is it possible right so we can write some code to confirm or reject this hypothesis so we can see number of distinct planes used in flights is 4044 right so for example you can easily find that out by doing uh, uh, you know flights group by uh, or, or flights count tail num that is good enough okay there are uh, 4044 4, different aircrafts that have been used okay or you can do n distinct flights dollar tail num and you'll see that the result is 4044 okay but let's take a look at the number of distinct tail num carrier combinations right after all if every tail number was used by only one carrier then obviously the number of tail num carrier combinations should also be 4044 right because every tail num if it was used by only a particular carrier then there won't be any difference between the distinct tail nums and the distinct tail num carrier combinations okay but it turns out that the number of tail num carrier combinations is 4067 okay so that means that uh, you know 23 tail nums were actually used by more than one airline okay so if you do n distinct flights dollar tail num comma flights dollar carrier you see the result is 4067 okay so which specific planes have been used by more than one airline so this is again carrying on from the previous question where we found that there are indeed some tail nums that have been used by more than one airline let's try to find out the specific aircraft that have been used by more than one airline so we say flights group by tail num right we and we are going to find out now how many airlines each was used by summarized number of carriers is n distinct carrier that is for every tail num we want to find out how many distinct carriers it is associated with right because we have grouped by tail num now we are saying count for each tail num how many carriers occur so n distinct right and then we can filter where the number of carriers is greater than one that is show me all the tail nums which have been used by more than one carrier so now here you will get a list of all the planes that were used by more than one carrier and then we can look at this question what does anti join flights airports by equals destination uh, c dest equals faa okay so we are joining flights with airports and we are doing an anti join that means it's only going to retain those flights for which the destination airport is not in the airport table okay which means what which means we are looking at flights which went to destinations that are not in the airport stable at all okay you will be surprised there are in fact such tables okay so flights whose destination airport was not in the list of airports okay uh, and in fact i did a little research it turns out that uh, there are four such airports I think three of them are in Puerto Rico and one is in the Virgin Islands okay so I don't know why those are not listed in the airport table but they're not okay so what does anti join airports flights mean right so we are looking at uh, same thing anti join except that the order is different earlier it was flights comma airports now we are saying airports comma flights 
Okay. So what this means, of course, is show me all the airports, right, in which the destination was not there in the flights table. That is, the airports which are there in the airports table, but which are not operating as destinations for any flights. Okay. If you do this, you will find very interesting results. Okay. That is because for whatever reason, within the airports table, there are a lot of train stations. Okay. In fact, I think all the train stations are actually listed in the airports table. Okay. And uh, all the train stations seem to also have an FAA code. Okay. So I don't know what the purpose is, but that's, that's what I found. 